This time of year is super exciting. There's Christmas dinners, there's presents, maybe it's Hanukkah, maybe you've got days off of work, maybe you're going on a trip, and you're also thinking about the new year. All the possibilities, all the goals that you could be accomplishing. You've got 365 days to execute on those dreams. But here is the sobering part. What did you actually do in 2017 that you said you were gonna do, that you set out as a goal? What's up my good vibe DJ tribe? Now here's the hard part. You gotta get real honest with yourself. And I would love if you guys would share this in the comments below, but if not, at least write this down so that you can really think about these questions so that you can actually start planning for next year and make it count. Starting with question number one, what did you set out to accomplish in 2017? Number two, why or why didn't you accomplish that goal? And three, what can you do differently moving forward to ensure that you either continue on towards that goal or make the proper changes so that you do accomplish these new goals the following year? Now, for example, maybe you wanted to release more DJ mixes. Maybe you wanted to focus more on your production game or maybe you needed to start focusing on a fan base or all three. Maybe you found in the beginning you had that momentum, however, you started to get distracted. Maybe you made commitments to too many projects. Maybe you were fearful of feedback so you didn't really put yourself out there. Maybe you didn't know how to go about networking so you kind of stopped when you didn't feel like it was working for you. These are really important questions and questions we need to be honest with ourselves about the reasons we did not accomplish these things. Maybe you weren't committing like you said you were. Maybe you weren't scheduling time to do these things. Maybe you found yourself overwhelmed so you just binge watched Netflix or played on Facebook for five hours at a time only to feel worse in the end. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something different, and then wondering why it's not working? These questions and answers are really important so that when you're making your plans for the new year, you're going to need to focus on doing things differently and then follow through with them. Now, if you can identify where you went wrong and where you went right, then for the future, you know what changes you need to make and what is already working for you. This is really gonna help set you up for success because when we change the behavior, we change our habits, and then suddenly you are on the road to success at a much faster rate than the prior year. And it's also really good to do inventory so that you can reflect and say to yourself, wow, I did actually accomplish a lot and I should be proud of myself. Pat on my back. Pat, pat on your back, you know what I mean. So again, guys, I would love, 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 love to hear your stories in the comments below. Maybe you have a new tune or mix that you are super proud of. Also share it below so the rest of us can enjoy. Happy 2018 planning. Next week, I will talk a little more about the planning process.